Dodge Stadium opened way back in 1913 and has been rocking Atlanta ever since. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. Louisville's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. down at the 32-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll bring him down at the 38. scrambling and they make the stop at the 41 looking right intercepted he's at the 40 and he's taken down at the 34. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. They go with a run. Tackled at about the 19-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Run to the outside. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Touchdown, Louisville! And he tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 34-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 7-0. He's to the 20. 
And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback trying to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. to the 30 and he's tackled at about the 31 you know what after a play like that i wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again he's got to throw it in a hurry that's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline and now they get the ball back that brings us fourth and seven atwell will be the return man and he's hammered down you know what it might not have been a lot but they moved the ball forward football's not a game won 100 yards at a time you take what you can get well the guys are chomping at the bit down there waiting for the game to start back up louisville up seven points Down he goes at about the 45. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That's a deep 12 on the ball. First down. Check right, check right, watch this, watch this. Hawkins on the give. Room around the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a deep 7 on the play. That'll bring up second and three. From the 40-yard line, it's third down. He's hit and taken down. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Louisville is up a score. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Louisville is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and he got it! Turner has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. 
He'll return it from the four-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Louisville's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. Throwing left. So at the end of one quarter, Louisville leads it 10-0. Ready for more football here in quarter number two. Let's go! Green 95! Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Brought down at the 25. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and They come out in a five wide set. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 45. First down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. In the passing game, the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers is very important. Here he has an open tight end, and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 35. First down. Heading for the corner. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Middle pass. The tight end holds it in for the score. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. four-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on their own 34. Let's go, Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Mike 
Let's it fly. Interception. He steps out at the 46. From the 46 yard line. First down. Blue 14. Gets to about the 44 yard line. That's a game of two on that day. That brings us second and nine. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Excellent open field tackle. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He fights forward to about the 36. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. He's going to go for the home run. Almost intercepted. He was that close to making a big play. This safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 44-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That brings up third and 10. Five wide. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Complete breakdown in judgment and discipline. These are the types of mental errors that drive coaches crazy. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. This is the eighth play of this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Ready! Wide out makes the first down catch. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Hawkins from the two. Brought down at the 28. Louisville's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at half time. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers, and yet they still have the lead, just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the team wants this receiver stepped up. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Five, six, five, 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 five. 
Wants to go long and does. Has it to the senior. Touchdown, Cardinals. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. And he hits the PAT. Louisville lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. That makes it first and ten. Right around the 48-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He lets it go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. From the seven, he makes it to the 25-yard line. Louisville's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Fires incomplete, knocked away. to the 25-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Yellow Jackets, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. <laughs> He's tackled at the 39. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Spikes the ball. Second and ten. 
Ball on the 31 yard line. Looks middle, got his back. And he stops the clock with a spike. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He goes downtown. Almost picked off. So we've played two quarters. Louisville leads it 24-14. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. They knock it down. Incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled at the 26. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes. Right around the 34. Scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle made right around the 50. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throwing left. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And he hits him hard at the 49. That's now four extra possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's a formula that'll win you a lot of ball games. Discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Second and 15. Ball on the 45. Nice run up the middle. Brad, we had a chance to talk with this young man earlier in the week. And one of the things he thought he'd have a chance to do is make some plays by being able to blitz and get after the quarterback. That time, he timed it up just right and was able to come up with a sack. Booming kick. He fields the punt at the 13. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Now here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Brought down around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He laterals the ball. It's a fumble. It's recovered. They'll bring him down at the 31. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. 
And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, the on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Atwell, the return man. Room around the corner. And down he goes at the 41. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Taken down at the 47. Makes it out to about the 39. He's tackled behind the line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Trying to change the field position with his kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Uh, who's in charge of this offense? These guys can't get a first down. They can't move the ball down the field. How do you expect to win the game? The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Chucks it downfield. And he got it! At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. First and goal coming up. He's knocked down after a big game. And he is drilled at the 1. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. That makes it third and goal. Three down, three down. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. That's three down and one to go. Louisville's got a 10-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike nine, Mike nine. Bang out. Bang out. Bang out. Looking to 
scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 10. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Nice run there. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. And they make the stop at the 43 yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle at the 45. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. First Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it to the 42-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball in the 42. to him before he could get back to the line. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Makes it to the 34. Georgia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the 12th play of this drive. Here's the give. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Makes it to the 11. Hawkins gains eight yards on that play. And here's the 14th play of the drive. run to the outside Louisville looking to make this a three score game we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee this is the 16th play of this drive Louisville's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. Well, that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.